All right, so now let's do challenge 26. So if I hit launch right here, the balls just go right there. And our goal is to have the balls hit all these stars. Here's what I'm thinking for plan of action. I don't know how high this goes. I wonder if we put a ramp up here, if we can catch the balls way up here, have them go over this block. Then all I need is just some line right here. And then the marbles will all go hit this, hit this, and then go down the steps. I don't think that'll work because we won't be able to get up here to this star. So forget that idea. I thought that was going to be fun though. So instead, I think what we need to do is some sort of ramp here and then get a straight line right here. And depending on how that works out, we might have to do something to organize things things out here. First, let's do our circle. Equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. The radius here might be, we'll just say for now, 2.5. So 2.5 squared would be 6.25. The way I move the circle to the left would be adding some number inside here. So one, two, three, four, and let's move it up one. So we'll say minus one inside with the y. Let's make it bigger too. Let's go up to 10, a little bit bigger, maybe 12. So that looks like it'll line up correctly. It'll hit this star, hit this star and then go up the ramp. Let's test it. Yep. So I'm going to want to cut this circle somewhere around right there. We'll say y is less than, and then it'll be negative x, and then we'll go down some. There we go. Probably too steep. I bet the marbles are going to hit right there. So let's do something like that. That might work. Now if I put a restriction up here, once I paste this into this spot, the only part of this circle that's going to exist is the part that's in the blue. The rest of this circle is going to disappear. So I'll plug this in here. Now the rest of the circle disappeared, and we don't need this anymore. So now if I hit launch, oh, I need to go further. Uh, maybe we'll make this point six. Okay, that works. So now this is hitting the steps right here. So we need to put a line in there. So we'll say y equals x. Oh, that it. I don't think we need to shift it up. Oh, that was cool. Now we need to stop this line right here. So we'll put another restriction on and we'll make y less than three if it'll hit that star down there. No, we can try two. It's never going to hit that star. Maybe we'll do like a y equals e to the x. That's going to be an exponential growth. It'll look something like that. So maybe I'll bring this back up here. So we'll change this to a 3. And then we'll do a y equals e to the x. And then this purple one right here is the y equals e to the x. So we want to shift it over. First, to shift it up on the side with the y, we'll say minus 3. And that'll bring it up 3. And then inside with the x, in order to move it to the right, we'll want to do minus, put about right here. So it'll be minus 13. And then we also need a restriction on this. So we'll make X greater than three. So now the marble should go like this through here, hit both those stars up through here, jet up here and roll back into here. And then I guess they'll roll all the way back down and hang out right here. There they go. And we have success. How exciting. So we solved this one. Check out my playlist if you want to see more of these. I'll talk to you guys soon.